awesome. I just watched a really fucking great movie called The Company of Strangers. It's on Tubi under a different name. It's called um, Strangers in Good Company. I can't recommend this movie enough. It's from the 90s. It's a Canadian film. It is a beautiful movie that just illuminates life in this gorgeous way. It's about seven or eight women, uh, older women. They're all in their 70s or their 80s, and they're on a bus together. The bus breaks down, and they're stuck in the Canadian countryside, basically for a couple nights while they sit in a house, farmhouse, wondering, are we going to get to go home? How are we going to survive out here? But this is not Lord of the Flies, okay? This is not some sort of dark existential dread, turning on each other film. This is a beautiful movie that's just these seven or eight women sitting around and sharing their stories with each other. The women are in the film are unknowns. They're not actors. Um, or if they were, they were never in anything else. And I know that there are their real stories being shared within sort of the plot of the movie. It's a loose plot. I would not go into it expecting like a big plot heavy movie. But what you can't expect is compelling characters and amazing scenes where you feel like you're just hanging out with these women. Sometimes I felt like it was the Golden Girls sort of on the road. Like what if the Golden Girls went on a road trip and the car broke down and they're all stuck together in a farm house. Maybe it's a little less comedic than that, but not really. There's a lot of really, really funny comedic moments throughout, and, and you're just delighted by these women. And, and like I said, some of their dialogue is definitely real. You know, they tell a story, and then after they tell the story, you see a photo of them when they were younger. And there's no setup for that. It just happens. And you look at them and go, whoa, that's that woman. And it's really illuminating and beautiful. It isn't dramatic. It isn't overly emotional. Or you're not worried for them. These women are, are sort of having a really good time together and you feel like you're hanging out with those women. It's sort of about shared experiences and, and their different identities sort of co-mingling in this situation. It's a movie that really illuminates life in the human spirit. And I love this kind of thing. Again, it's not plot heavy at all. I wouldn't say it's art house though. It's certainly not like trying to be pretentious at all. It's not just like watch these old ladies talk. Like if you're really into art, you'll be able to endure this. It's not like that. It's so entertaining. It's so full of life. It, these are the kind of movies that I really cherish and maybe don't get made anymore because they're hard to get financed. Uh, this movie was paid for by the Canadian Film Board. So I don't know how the hell this got made or why. And none of these women went on to act in anything. So it is really, really a, a one of a kind anomaly in uh, the film world. It's just beautiful. It's a really beautiful movie and I just can't recommend it enough. It does not matter if you're a woman. It doesn't matter if you don't relate to the situation. If you're 20 years old, if you're 60 years old, it will remind you that it's good to be alive. And what else can we ask for for movies? Thanks so much for watching and comment if you want to or go watch the movie and please tell me what you thought. I would love to see more people talking about this movie. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.